This is the Al Bahari Islamic Art Gallery, the British Museum's newest permanent space. From sumptuous textiles, to musical instruments, to ancient Ottoman tiles, the idea is to create as complete a picture as possible of life in the Islamic world. In collaboration with the Al Bahari Foundation and Malaysia's Islamic Art Museum, a team of six curators, led by Venetia Porter, has spent the last four years on the project. So what we wanted to do with this, with this gallery was really to try and look at the material culture of a vast region that starts with West Africa and goes right up to Southeast Asia and, and China, and to look at the material culture of the Islamic world, because all of those regions, this broad stretch of regions, um, either Islam is, continues to be the significant religion or in the past was, um, the material culture coming from this series of regions is just really, really exciting and important. And we wanted to try and convey that. The objects in the gallery range from the 7th century to present day. And while many of the pieces are rare and priceless, the curators also wanted to give a snapshot of everyday life. That includes commonplace objects like these pierced water filters attached to domestic earthenware jars. And while they may look decorative, their purpose, to filter water for drinking, was entirely practical. Games boards like these were also created for a specific purpose. Chess sets became a popular way of teaching military strategy. Curator Zena Klink Hopp, who specialises in Ottoman history, recognises the importance of showcasing daily life, habits and interests. Court was one aspect of this story, but the life of everyday people as they get on with their lives is also something which is particularly important to highlight and emphasise. So we have a small case on the Hammam, and we have beautiful embroidered towers that would have been used by the elite maybe in Istanbul and other cities. But next to them is displayed a little bath scrub with a little dove above it, which comes from Egypt. And it's a very humble object. You go to the Hammam to scrub off dry skin, but it's a spectacular object in its own right as well. While the gallery is permanent, this mini exhibition dedicated to the arabesque motif in the Islamic world, is not. The objects here have been loaned by Malaysia's Islamic Arts Museum and will be on view for just 12 months. We try to tell the story of the arabesque. What is the arabesque? Which is a, a leaf scroll that uh, developed, uh, and, uh, developed throughout 1,000 years. Uh, and it covers all the Islamic world from the Iberian Peninsula to Southeast Asia and China. The British Museum also commissioned this contemporary piece of art, 21 Stones by Idris Khan. 21 poems have been designed to look as though they've been thrown against the wall. It's based on one of the rituals of the Hajj, throwing stones at the Jumarat or the devil. After years in the making, the curators hope this new gallery space showcases both the diversity and the complexity of the Islamic world and its influence, from West Africa to Southeast Asia. Miranda Atti, TRT World, London.